Um, this will enable the viewer to be more focused on a certain point, perhaps a player on the football field or in our case a car moving across the screen. It will take the background out or fade the background and make the object that we want to be the attention or center of attention um, more visible to the viewer. So we have our clip um, on the timeline here. I'm just going to play it. It's just the car moving across the screen at our actor. So first thing, we want to make a new title. And I'm going to name this Spotlight. And this window will pop up. First thing that we want to do is we want to highlight the rectangle tool or select it and drag it from edge or corner to corner so it fills up the whole screen roughly. And we want to come over to this fill option here and select radial gradient. And we have two colors here. We want to make this um, further one. You, you could really make both. Or yeah, you want to make the back one um, this gray color. So it's kind of a lightish gray. And using these two colors, you can actually drag it to make the lines harder or softer on the sides. And anyone who, anyone who is familiar with vignettes, this is the same concept where you have the vignetted edges and the um, video playing right here. So for our uses and purposes, we're going to create a hard spotlight uh, that's relatively small, so because the car is relatively small on the screen. So once you have it dialed in roughly, we'll come back to it, but go ahead and move that off to the side. And I'm going to bring it into the timeline and trim it up to match our clip. Um, we want to make sure we have it selected. And then we want to go to this Effects Controls tab. And under Opacity, if we set the Blending no Mode to Multiply, we can see that it's already taken effect um, to our clip. Um, and the car obviously isn't on the asphalt right here. We want it to be more up there. So I'm going to move it so that the center of the spotlight is on the center of the car. And you'll notice places in the clip aren't, or in the frame, aren't affected by the spotlight. There's an easy fix to that. You can scale it by dragging these corners, or you can go to motion and scale it up there like that. And the Spotlight will get bigger as you scale it up because you're actually making it bigger, but this enables us to drag it wherever we want to without meeting those um, unaffected edges on the sides because the uh, frame is simply too small. So this gives us a lot of uh, flexibility in moving our, our spotlight around. So if you want to make it smaller, you can come back over to this, um, this window right here and play with the, um, the two colors and kind of make it smaller. That that looks about good. I'm going to close this out. And now we want, since we have the spotlight centered on the car, that's how we want it to look, but we want it to follow the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a few keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end. So we want to make sure our starting keyframe is where we want it. Um, we're going to go to position and click this little stopwatch here, and the keyframe will appear. And if we scroll all the way to the end, I think it's almost the last frame, we can move it either by dragging it or using these numbers over here. Um, drag it all the way and then set your keyframe by clicking that button. Um, so just making sure that you have it. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that the car was moving at a fairly constant speed so it shouldn't be too hard. And yep, the spotlight tracks it very well. Um, so again, this can be used not with just a car moving across the screen, but also a sports player. Maybe you're doing a highlight film for a customer or um, anything that you want to stand out in your footage. This is the way to do it. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial.